Are you encouraged by these latest developments? It seems to be that we're getting more specifics than what we've had over the past few months. But still, I'm wondering on these kind of impasse issues like China's tech ambitions made in China 2025, is there going to be any progress in terms of what Washington is wanting from Beijing? Yeah, I, th I think it's important, as your colleague was just saying, in uh, reflecting on uh, U.S. Uh, Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer's testimony this week, he laid out pretty clearly just how much ground we have to cover before we get to a meaningful deal. So I, I recommend folks who are watching this closely that we really distinguish between the sort of the signing ceremony that, that Trump has promised, which may see some... Uh, some sort of watered-down deal from the real structural significant issues which stand in the way of uh, a, a longer-lasting uh, uh, truce between the U.S. and China. Those issues are, are far, far, far away from being settled. These longer-term strategic issues, I mean, if at the end of the day, we're kind of framing the narrative as two superpowers battling for who has greater influence and greater uh, development over the next, you know, 10, 20, 100 years. Is there really much wiggle room to, to get a resolution? Yeah, I'd recommend, you know, the, the folks pay a little bit more attention to the discussion in the national security establishment, both, you know, here in the U.S., but if you were in Ottawa, if, if you were in Canberra, if you were in Berlin, if you're in Brussels, uh, I mean, there's a really strong agreement amongst a, a host of governments and, and uh, government actors that this is not a trade dispute, that this is really a long-term strategic competition between China and many developed nations, democratic nations, that that's going to be a prolonged, uh, a prolonged realignment, but it'll be along the lines of uh, the connection between technological innovation and, and national security. We're, we're seeing this really clearly with the battle over 5G and, and Huawei. This is where I think folks should be spending their time uh, and attention trying to understand how do you do business and invest in a, in a world um, where national security is the dominant paradigm through which governments are looking at these issues because we're not going back to the status quo ante. I mean, that, is, that ship has sailed and the trade war, in a sense, is really just a distraction uh, from this much mm. more fundamental shift, which is which is going on right now. How much of the of a distraction is the WTO? Because we are now <laughs> seeing that they have ruled on Chinese farm subsidies as exceeding their commitments. Uh, but at the same time, we have heard President Trump undermine international organizations so much. So even though we're taking this as a victory for the president, does this even count now? Yeah, so first of all, this is not President Trump's victory. Uh, uh, as we know, the, the, the president doesn't feel, uh, doesn't have too, too much sympathy towards the WTO, although we're seeing right now how the WTO can be incredibly useful for arbitrating some of these disputes. Um, this, won't, this won't strengthen his belief in the WTO. And more importantly, just going back to the national security uh, comment I just made, we have to remember the WTO has a Mack truck-wide loophole where any government can get out of a ruling if it claims national security grounds, and both China and the U.S. have played footsie with the idea that they're going to do that if they don't like a, don't like a ruling. So I really think uh, we need to just be looking at that, the fault lines of national security and the legislation and regulatory actions that are going to come out of that, rather than are we going to see a pullback on the, on the tariffs, which, by the way, as everyone is saying, the tariffs are not going away as a threat, even if we go forward with, uh, with this signing ceremony. As part of the new enforcement mechanism, the tariffs will always be there, and that, that is the enforcement mechanism in a sense.